Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be going over how to fix the task image being corrupt or has been tampered with. So this goes back to the days of Windows 7 and Windows 8. However, I'm going to be on a Windows 10 virtual machine here, but the same process should apply. So if you have damaged or corrupt task images within the task scheduler, um, this tutorial will hopefully help resolve this issue for you guys. And most of you guys should actually be experiencing this in Windows 7 or Windows 8 because that usually occurs when you're trying to downgrade from Windows 10 back to the earlier versions of Windows. So you probably will not experience this really that much in Windows 10, but in any case I thought I'd make a brief tutorial about it. Okay, so on this website, this is the tool that was created by some very nice guy named Digi, and this will repair our task on our computer. So just left click on the little button that says repair task.zip, and left click on it, and then if you're prompted what you want to do with this file, just save it. And then once it's finished downloading, you want to left click on open, minimize that over web browser at this point. So there should be an application that says repair task. You want to double click on it. It says this application may depend on other compressed files in the folder. For the application to run properly, it is recommended that you first extract all the files. I'm going to just select the run right here. You receive a user account control window, select yes. You might have to install Net Framework 3.5 in order for this tool to run. So I'm just going to install it right here. I'll be right back once Net Framework is done installing. Okay, so Net Framework was installed. So I'm going to close out of this window. And again, I'm going to open up the application. I'm going to run it. Again, user account control window. Select yes. So a new window should appear here. You want to left click on the scan button by underneath repair task. You can see it's currently checking the computer here. So just be patient, the scan might take a few moments to run. Shouldn't take that long from my past experience, but we can see that zero problems were found. If any task were found, you could select backup task first to save it back up to your computer in case something went wrong. And if you had to do that, you could left click on this take task from backup and you could import the backed up files from there. You can also save the results, and of course, if there are the listings here, you can left click on this repair button, it would not be grayed out, and you can repair any files that are creating the task image to have issues with it. So, I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.